Hello, this is entry 3 in the Duo construction vlog. Uh, the computer here is almost done. I'm just mis missing a few chips. Uh, I did not order the addition chip and the comparison chip by accident, and there will also be an AND gate here when I get those two installed. Uh, but I'll have to buy those, so for right now it's actually missing uh, several commands and it cannot execute those. Um, but the good news is I can finally show you it running a program. Um, <clears throat> this is the most number of boards you'll see attached to this uh, ever because uh, later I'm going to remove some of them when I put it into a nice case. But for now, let's see what we have here. So the computer's on, but it's not uh, running, it's stopped. Um, as you've seen here before, these are the lights that show the data that's in the ROM. And um, I had to painstakingly program uh, the entire machine code into it to make it run the program. You may have seen me uh, doing some of that in my first video. And this is the input-output board. You have uh, the input is these lights here. There's four of them. And the output right now is set to some random arbitrary set of data, but it's not important. Um, <clears throat> and what the program will do when I start running it is it will do two things at the same time. It will both copy the input to the output, and it will blink one of the lights of the output. And for this reason I call the program the cat blinker. Uh, cat is a name for a program that copies the input to the output. And this program also blinks, so it's the cat blinker. So if I install this wire here, you'll see these blink, uh, these lights blink blink <coughs> You'll see these lights blink furiously because uh, the computer is running through all the commands in the ROM and is loading them quickly into the registers and executing them. And in the output board, you'll see that this light here is blinking. And because we've inputted 0000, it is blinking this on top of a 0000. <clears throat> now, it can blink either one of two lights. It can blink this light if the last bit is a 0, or it can blink the second light if the last bit is a 1. And you see this is on because it's being copied from there. Now I can also turn the first bit on. So there's the first bit. Hopefully you can see past my hand. And if I turn the last bit back off, it'll start blinking that one on. And I can turn the third one on. Superimposes the blinking light. And if I turn all of them on, it should blink the second one because the last bit is on. And that's basically it. It's a pretty simple program, but uh, I guess it's a good start for the computer. Um, <clears throat> when I attach to it a display to it, you'll see much more fancy things. And especially when I add the chips that are missing, you'll see it do more complicated functions. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll hopefully post another video in a week or so, or a couple weeks, depends on how long the parts come need to uh, travel in the mail, and how long I have to build it.